How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, just when you think the Democrats can't do anything to make you laugh, they cart out the clown-in-chief Elizabeth Warren and the fraudster-in-chief Barack Obama. Barack Obama, does he make a speech at the White House? No. Does he make it from Air Force One on the tarmac? No. Does he make it from Chicago? No. He goes Yosemite and ruins the weekend for hundreds if not thousands of American tourists who are going there for Father's Day weekend. Does he talk about ISIS? No. Does he talk about Al-Qaeda? No. Terrorism? No. Gay bashing? No. Hate speech? No. What does he talk about? He talks about global warming and says that the Rangers told him there's global warming going on Yosemite. Well, of course there's global warming going on Yosemite. They got geysers there. A guy fell into it a week ago and got boiled to death. Of course there's global warming going on Yosemite. It's a ridiculous thing to say. And on a scale of 1 to 100 in polls taken by Americans... Nobody cares about global warming except Barack Obama. He's obsessed with it. It's about 987 on the concerns of America. And it ain't hitting a bullet on any chart you can think of. But this guy is obsessed with global warming and warns us how Manhattan's going to be underwater. And then to top it off, they bring out the clown-in-chief, Elizabeth Warren. The woman who calls Trump a fraudster. And her thin-skinned racist bully when she's the bully. She says Trump shouldn't be allowed anywhere near the White House. Well, it's more like Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton shouldn't be allowed near the White House. And she calls Trump a small, insecure money grabber who doesn't care about anyone or anything that doesn't have the Trump name splashed all over it. Well, Hillary Clinton doesn't have the Clinton name splashed all over it, but she's been money grubbing for years. She gets speeches done at Goldman Sachs that nobody can hear about. 650000 bucks a speech, but it's a secret. We're not having any transparency there, are we, folks? She said she was broke when she left the White House. The Clintons are worth millions now. So, And then she attacks a, a, a U.S. senator who's running for re-election in New Hampshire, Senator Ayotte who says she'll support Trump, but she's in critical goal of Trump's remarks. And to top it off, the hilarity continues, she appears at the Democratic Convention for New ha Democrats in New Hampshire and gets hundreds, hundreds of people show up. Bernie Sanders on a bad day got 3,000 people. And Trump mentioned it. Trump gets 20,000 standing in the heat in Arizona and in Texas. <laughs> Hundreds of people. They're waiting in line for hours to hear Donald Trump. And Elizabeth Warren, let's talk about fraud. She tried to get a job at Harvard by claiming she was 132nd or 118th or 122nd or 178th Cherokee Indian. When there's no Cherokee Indian in her background, there's not even any American, there's not any American Indian, no Native American Indian, or no Indian Indian from India in her background, as far as I know. The woman lies. That's the same nut job who said, and like Obama, that you didn't build it. When she talked about manufacturers building businesses and plants, the government built everything, and manufacturers did nothing to build their companies. And then to top it off, to really sock it to the Republican Party and voters all across America, she called voters for Trump white-wing nutjobs. That's going to get you a lot of votes in December, isn't it? Yeah, just insult every Republican, whether they voted for Trump or not. You know, the Democrats probably can't win without some carryover vote, some crossover vote. But, you know, we're all whack jobs. Oh, yeah, and she criticized Trump on his views on minorities and women when he's been nothing but complimentary to him. 
his economic policies, climate change, and using allegedly deceptive practices for Trump University. That's a civil suit. That will determine in court. But she had to mention it. And the one other one that broke me up is she's saying that Hillary is a fighter. She fights for women and children and families. Well, she didn't fight to protect four Americans, including an ambassador in Libya, did she? Neither she or Barack Obama or Elizabeth Warren fought to protect 49 gays who died in Orlando. Who died because in part of political correctness because the FBI is not allowed to vet social media sites because it might be offensive to Muslims. So due to political correctness in part, 49 people died when they didn't have to. So you tell me who the real fraud is here. It's Elizabeth Warren, it's Barack Obama, it's Hillary Clinton. All right, this is George Senda. This has been Donald Trump Talk. I'm the guy from Pittsburgh, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great Father's Day, and I hope you're not backed up in your car still at Yosemite waiting to get in while global warming has happened all around you. Okay, bye-bye.